hey hi hello welcome back or welcome to today we're going to be checking out a game called paroxysm uh, i have seen fantastic things about this game i'm excited for this one because actually one of the themes in this is something that i myself want to get into which is essentially ghost hunting and real life horror content creation essentially we're a horror content creator where we instead of doing stuff like this we venture out into haunted locations to find the best content for the people so like i said i'm excited for this one so without further ado welcome to paroxysm one night in a dark and gloomy city as a lone wolf in the world of internet broadcasting i'm on the trail of a horror story i'm someone who boldly ventures into dark and mysterious places to attract views to my channel but this time things seem scarier than usual I heard rumors about scary stuff happening in an apartment building. People had to leave the area because of it. Residents speak of weird noises, shadows, and even ghosts there. As someone who loves horror, this got me interested, so I decided to check it out. Nah, no, shit. I'm absolutely digging the 4-3 uh, aspect. I'm so glad the games have started to do this. The graphics are really cool too. Go to the apartment at the end of the street and enter flat number 10. Let's go ghost hunt. Hey yo. The seesaw just started. Is that a piece of cloth? Oh no, it's just vines. I think. But this aspect just adds so much, so much ambiance, so much more just aesthetic. It makes it a lot more spooky. Wow. We must be hot when we're bursting pipes. Also, I think I have uh, found out the uh, the lighting here that I would like to, to finalize myself with, which you're seeing it now. Kind of keep that dark background still. All right, let's get into here. Enter flat number ten. Number ten. We have a flashlight, though. No. That's two, three. Five and six. Seven, eight, nine. Is ten alone? It's ten on its own floor. Apparently not. We can ring everybody. A 
random key. Wait, is this gonna open? Is this a skeleton key? Or is this specifically a key for room 10? And if so, why is it all the way up there? Uh oh shit. This kind of reminds me of From the Darkness a little bit. Nice little bedroom in here. Well, shit. Wait, that was a door? Oh my god, it's so damn dark. I might actually have to up the uh, the gamma in post for you guys. Cause damn, that's dark. Oh hey, it's our little buddy from uh, like summer of '58 and September seventh, I think. All right, place our bag in the living room. of our equipment. Place the motion sensor in front of the main entrance. Oh, we're like full on ghost hunting. Hell yeah. Use the EMF reader to detect a level 5 anomaly. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying in the intro, um, doing something like this is uh, kind of a, a dream of mine in sort of a content creation. I would really like to separately do, like, go to haunted locations and have investigations and whatnot. Because I'm a big skeptic, but I'm open to being, like, my uh, my mind being changed. Oh, now we're cooking. Give me a sign. Surely you're not going to be in like the pantry, are you? The fridge. Ooh, yummy. it probably huh come out come out wherever you are Nervous. 
Ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh-ruh
also have juice this skin, but not for the night. First. First. Is that a vision, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking we might have had a vision. Another little balcony. The kitchen door is so inviting. Assuming we try to go to the sound, right? It's gotta be. Or we just fucking leave. Jesus, what a fast... <laughs> a fast animation, though, for that. sounds coming from it's coming from literally all over not working. I'm just going to go around and click everything. What are we, what are we looking for here? What are we trying to do? What are we trying to accomplish here? It was doing so good about telling us objectives and now like fend for yourself. Um, alrighty. A little confused. I'm ready to go. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit, is the door shut? Okay, the door is shut. We're fine. What the fuck was that? <laughs> and why was she running T posed at me? Coming. She so just searching all the rooms. Oh. A 
Hello. Ow. Shit loud as fuck. Oh shit. Who the hell dropped this plate? Grab the knife. You know you want to. <laughs> oh. Leave the apartment. Yeah, I would fucking say. Never mind, we can't. We're locked in here now, fuck. Oh. in a hallway now. Oh god. This is sick. Oh shit. Hi granny. We're fine. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Why is the door only... Oh, wait, no, that's the shadow. <laughs> okay, so it appears there is uh, something in the apartment with me now. We might have taken uh, Do It For The Content a little too far. We are now about to die. This should be a lesson. Don't fuck with summoning spells. Unless you know what you're doing. What if I don't want to let you in? my motion sensor. Can we like call for help? Do we need to like worship? That wasn't me. I didn't set that shit off. Not that time. Settle down. It's just our neighbor's Bluetooth. Death equal key. 
put the plus skull equal key. Oh no, fuck. Well, shit. We got the key. Now we're fucking dead. Wait, I was gonna say, I guess it makes sense it's a cabinet. Oh god, the flashlight. Lights go on. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck off. No one's home. Oh my god, it's so fucking dark. Locked. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Even though we just got keys. Oh no. We're dead. Is this the Krusty Krab? It's not the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Early whites you have. Alright, let's look in here, I guess. Shit. Someone has been uh, drugged to hell, though. I'm supposed to be a paranormal investigator, not a murder. Nope. I'm trying to help you, but uh, you've decided to lock the door. Go away. I'm trying. Oh, shit. I see you. Yeah, probably. Oh, why is your hand in there? Oh, no. pretty fucking good I liked that how the uh, the words changed every time the curtain opened that was cool Thank you. 
Oh, we're dead. We're not dead. Wait, we are dead. I don't know where to run to. from you are not alone in this house the woman you're looking for her aren't you if you want to find her listen carefully didn't you hear her screams they echo behind the walls her blood still decorates the walls i placed her there with my own hands right before your eyes where we hid where we hide all our secrets keep hiding but remember every wall has a secret so do we just get to go around smashing fucking walls Hi, Granny. Give some very white teeth, Granny. Smash this wall in. We're gonna find her body. We sure are. If this note falls into someone's hands, let them know that they have not freed the woman's spirit. Instead, they have cursed her soul upon themselves. Now her nightmare will be your reality. There is no escape. Grandma, chill. We can, we can work this through, right? Are we home free? Oh god. We should just leave. That might be ideal. What's up, Granny? How you doing? There 
she is again. She's gonna follow us home. dark adventure, I have to come to understand what true fear is. The path I took to explore haunted places and capture supernatural events on camera has come at a heavy price. The terrifying woman's house, the horror of the corpse trapped within the walls, all of it is etched into my mind. As I fled the apartment with the key in my hand, I knew the nightmare I left behind was just the beginning. Did I really escape, or will this horror follow me forever? This question echoes in the depths of my mind, giving me no peace. I'm on the brink of losing my sanity. There is no escape from this darkness. I see only one way out. Perhaps this is the only way to end the terror I have lived through. I hope you steer clear of the dark pit I have fallen into. Every adventure comes at a price, and I can no longer pay it. I can't read that. Oh, shit. We committed dead. Okay. All right, so that was Paroxysm. Uh, I really enjoyed that. That was a short little horror. Um, it would have been shorter had I uh, figured out what to do. I spent probably a good 10 minutes figuring out what to do after the uh, ritual commenced. I even like went outside. I don't know if I'll cut that part out, but I went outside literally on the street before she ran in, and she wasn't there. <laughs> So, um, my fault, I break games very easily, but yeah, no, a, a short, but pretty solid little, little horror, you know, there wasn't much of a story or anything, but, uh, enjoyable. There were some pretty good scares. I really liked the, uh, the bathroom scene, the little, the little shower curtain with the, the changing text every time was, was pretty cool. I would really like to see that in an actual film or something. Also, I am a big fan of the 4-3 aspect so anything 4-3 aspect in a video game is gonna be solid for me but if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it and if you enjoy the little me or this style of content please consider subscribing i have a never-ending backlog of horror games that you're gonna be able to view right here on this channel and if you have any other suggestions let me know down in the comments because i am always open to expanding this never-ending list until next time bye